Hi, this is Alexi from Practice Results. Uh, just doing a quick audit of a business called Simply Beautiful Smiles uh, located in Penrith, uh, New South Wales. Um, now, uh, this particular website uh, has got obviously a bit of a flow. Uh, however, there's obviously quite a few things missing. Well, first of all, if we're going to look about the actual uh, design, uh, a lot of the images are distorted. I assume that the designers have sort of tried to minimize the image size in order to uh, make the website faster. Well, there's obviously other ways to do it, but uh, yeah, some of the images plain look mm, a bit distorted and uh, I would probably reconsider uh, uh, going with the strategy in order to make the website faster. Uh, the actual offer for new patients seems to be, uh, you know, in the middle of the page, which uh, requires scrolling and finding. Uh, and uh, obviously it comes at $220, which seems reasonable. However, you know, obviously if we enter that uh, uh, angle, uh, it becomes a bit of a, a price game. So I would much advise to have that uh, right on the top of the page if that's the focal point to start the conversation. Now, this uh, business has got quite a few before and afters. Great. It's got a blog connected to it. Uh, you know, the latest post uh, was done uh, quite recently, I think end of March. Uh, and it talks about uh, dental implants, which is uh, which is good. So it feels like there is a content strategy behind the scenes. Uh, however, the issue is uh, you really want a strong uh, call to action out of this. Uh, um, and what I'm finding here is they've got a link to book an appointment, which actually takes you to the contact page. Now, booking an appointment and inquiring are two different processes. And I guess if you're going to look at the competition and the standards throughout the dental industry, you will find that when people want to book an appointment, they look at things like availability and they really want to understand, uh, you know, what uh, is available, what dentists are available and so on and so on. Now, if we look at the basic SEO side of things, the focus in the header uh, of the page seems to be on cosmetic dentistry. However, this is a general dentist business. Well, maybe they specialize. I'm not sure. However, if we look at the uh, title uh, for the main keywords, it talks about the brand and then your trusted dental care provider in Penrith. Now, in my opinion, if you're pushing for cosmetic dentistry, that's what you need to put in there. Uh, if you're putting for uh, if you're pushing for general dentistry services, that's what you need to, to put there as well. And then the actual uh, uh, description line uh, doesn't really talk much about either of the keywords, which is one of your basic uh, SEO criteria. There's there's nothing new. It's quite uh, standard. Uh, now, when it comes to the look and feel of the website. I don't really mind whichever way it's put together. I personally think that these uh, slider images or header images are a bit of a waste of space uh, purely because people need to see a call to action and they're really not there to look at images. Well, before and afters may be the case, but overall, you're basically looking for either uh, the person that you're dealing with uh, or potentially looking for a particular service or a product. I find that putting a phone number and an address uh, in the head of the page. In fact, we like to use things like hello bars, which stick uh, to the top throughout the page, uh, because that's what the majority of uh, users are looking for. Uh, you will find that more than 80% of the inquiries for dentists come through the form of phone calls, at least for new patients. Now, if you're obviously getting repeat uh, customers come through, they may email or use a book uh, online feature, if it's obviously a book online, but uh, that is something that uh, is definitely worth considering. Now, if we look at the speed of the website, it took me a couple of goes to get this going. Now, this is a publicly available tool from Google. Uh, it basically came back with a performance of uh, 27. Overall, it looks like, you know, a lot of things are applied, but it's a fairly slow website with fairly poor rendering on the mobile uh, website as well. So there's obviously quite a few uh, things that could be improved. And, uh, you know, Google spits out quite a, a report for you in order to uh, address quite a number of things. And it's not a rocket science fix. So uh, if the digital marketing agency or the web developers who built this website uh, are watching this, uh, definitely have a look at it. There's a lot of good information there. Now, if we look for the brand of the actual business, it's got a great uh, uh, following and uh, overall 41 reviews. Uh, you know, if we look at uh, uh, what's happening here, is all the presences reconciled. Uh, however, there are no posts that are connecting to blog, which could actually boost the exposure of your uh, posts as well. Uh, there seems to be an Instagram profile. Great. Uh, but the latest post was done around Halloween. Now, I don't know, obviously, what the strategy of this business is, but I can guarantee it that a lot of younger audience, and especially with cosmetic uh, angle, uh, they would definitely be following you through uh, uh, channels like uh, Instagram. Now, if we look at Facebook, uh, the Facebook profile that came up for this particular business had very similar content to Instagram. 
uh, you know, featuring that latest post for Halloween, which was on the 31st of October. However, there was also another uh, business with a similar name, Simply Beautiful Smiles, popping up with a page like this, which is clearly another business. But what's alarming there is that there's actually uh, seven reviews that are all negative. And I would be, you know, very much... Uh, cautious of this and uh, you would really need to do a little bit of uh, you know brand um, SEO in order to push this down or at least make sure that uh, people don't confuse you with that business because last thing you want to spend dollars on advertising to potentially uh, people uh, you know for people to find the wrong place and make assumptions about it now if we're going to be pushing for keywords like dental implants for example these guys are nowhere to be seen in dental uh, you know uh, for dental imp implants in Penrith uh, obviously, I can't see the paid ads because I'm located in Brisbane and they may have local ones, which would be great, but uh, nothing's coming up over here. And I'm finding that, uh, you know, looking at these um, reviews, if we optimize that business for cosmetic dentistry or implants, if that was the focus, they would actually come up in one of these positions. Uh, you know, the star ratings obviously got a lot to do with, but the relevance as well. So it's, 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 it's simply not there. If we're going to look for the word, uh, you know, dentist uh, in Penrith, which is what a lot of people would search for, uh, dentist near me, dental Penrith, they um, also don't come up as well. So there is quite an opportunity there for the Google My Business optimization, which in my opinion is the low uh, hanging fruit. Now, overall, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of room for improvement. Overall, it comes down to strategy. We can clearly see that social media isn't really one of them. And the issue is a lot of the time people make the assumption that the business is no longer active. If they don't see anything posted for about a month. Uh, you know, don't ask me why, but I did get quite a lot of people coming back to me with that feedback, which sort of justifies at least, uh, you know, a scheduled uh, strategy about key events or I guess what's happening at the actual practices. Um, frankly, I'm a little bit surprised that for a business that's been around for, you know, over 20 years, uh, you end up with a website like that. And when I did a little bit of further digging, I found the developers of this business, Refresh uh, Digital. Uh, there seems to be, you know, obviously a redevelopment on UX and, you know, using WordPress and so on. But uh, I feel like, you know, the ongoing digital marketing strategy isn't really reflected within the search uh, or the um, social media marketing as well. So I really don't know what these guys are doing, um, but hopefully the feedback from this video can provide a few uh, pointers as to what to, uh, what can be improved. And overall, I guess it's all about goals. It's all really about understanding what this business can get uh, by applying uh, quite a number of things. I find that Google My Business is probably one of the biggest opportunities for most businesses. And this is where, you know, it really just takes the time to go and optimize it. Um, luckily, a lot of businesses are getting good reviews. That's great. But you do need to make sure that people actually find you and see those reviews as well. Anyway, my name is Alexi. Uh, we are practice results. We help businesses grow and we offer audits like this uh, to businesses complimentary to help them identify key opportunities. Whether you want to do this yourself or get your digital marketing team, I think we'll all do better if uh, we had better online presence and marketing that actually worked. Cheers.